We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the sight of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. Ah, you're in time for quite a scrap. Looks quiet. Oh, quiet at the front. Here they clash, there they grunt and again. Oh, quiet at the front. Even one. Almost all Vesima's non-humans took up arms. How'd that happen? When the Order started killing women and children, even the most assimilated elves rebelled. Dumbest move since the age of King Desmod. Maybe the Grand Master wanted to provoke non-humans. As if that wasn't enough. Rumors surfaced about non-humans being resettled in Old Vesima because we're more susceptible to plague. Fucking fairy tale, of course. What are you doing here? We need to repel the attacking knights. Then I want to lead the civilians and Shani's patients out of Old Vesima. Shani's in Old Vesima? She organized a kind of field hospital at the old town hall. Coming with me? Naturally. Gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velarad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! For freedom! Kill the war! I'll hang you by your own guts, human! It's the Grand Master! We're saved! You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velorad has known Adder since her childhood. 
and Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, Your Highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Sire, your home also shelters the elves and dwarves you inherited from your ancestors. The fires and the slain are their doing. You cannot deny that. But in truth, I need peace in my kingdom now. Perhaps you should extend your serene benevolence to the non-humans. Promise them safety and equal rights. Perhaps. We'll send Velorad to negotiate. His elven features may prevent them from shooting. But I jest. Restoring order requires more. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True. But the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpses lie thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Strigger sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. What do you mean? You have non-human friends. Help Foltest, and he might reconsider his decree about cropping ears and beards to a prescribed size. Understood. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so. You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. 
Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. What are you talking about? Alvin, you made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Master, are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a Witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Squirtail set ablaze. Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Strigger, so I came to see Vizima's famous Strigger princess. Though not a Strigger, still interesting. Don't get too excited, Kolkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a Strigger, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology, and black magic. A mutant like you. I can't wait to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Do you know where it came from? The soldier said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Striga. Salamandra grows bolder. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witches' secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Striga? If the soldiers were wrong... I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine wrapped around... That's fine. Thanks. What happened with the Striga? False alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. You seem to be in one piece. Not worried about Knights of the Order or Elves showing up? They both think you're treating the enemy. For me, they aren't enemies, just wounded. In this hospital, we make no racial or political distinctions. I came to understand that at Brenna. Rusty treated Nilfgaardians and our own, even shielded a patient with his own body when Elves showed up. If they come here, I hope I have the courage to protect my patients. I'm sure you will, though I'd rather you escaped. Nice to hear. Why are you telling me this? What's that sound? Eternal fire! Behold the terrorist hideout! At them! Are you blind? This is a hospital, not a hideout! Aiding squirrels spells treason. Humble yourself before the eternal fire. Confess your sins, and perhaps you will be spared torture. Forgetting anything? Save your devilish tricks, freak. 
The eternal fire shields our souls from filthy magic. Can it shield you from a witcher's sword? Kill the non-humans! Leave the red-headed bitch alive! They wanted to slay the wounded. How can anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you. On behalf of all the patients. They shouldn't bother you anymore. See you later. Farewell. Just in time, Gwynblade. The fun is about to start. Mine's already started. Get out of here. We received information that terrorists found shelter at the old town hall. Keep out of this, Witcher. Too late. I repeat, walk away. We'll arrest that elven bitch and clean up the old town hall. You'll do nothing of the sort. Then make it an honorable fight, sorcerer. Iron, no magic. Honor? A second ago, the six of you wanted to attack one woman. You wouldn't know honor if it kicked you in the ass. Kill them! <laughs> Thank you, Witcher. You saved my life. Come. I know a quiet place where we can talk. Finally, a breather. I was sure we would meet again. Why did you return? I thought you had had enough of war. True, but I could hardly leave my brethren alone to die. I just couldn't. I see. I realized I couldn't run away from war. Yavin is a good leader. Strong, charismatic. This is our chance to change history. How could I run away from that? Mm -hmm. Teruviel. What is it? Why do you gaze at me so? I was just thinking. You think I... Unbelievable. You think I would... In these circumstances? The fate of the world is in the balance and you're thinking about sex? Oh, what the hell. Strip. Do you know why Teruviel returned? I can guess. She returned because you helped her at murky waters. She told me when she saw you fighting for that cause, she couldn't leave Yavin. Since he returned, he's been a better leader. Maybe we'll win. We? You've changed too. Decision time. A turning point. I could have stayed out of it. But you can't always straddle the fence. The Scoia'tael showed new strength at Murky Waters. I saw it in Teruviel's eyes. Even old Zoltan Chive talks of hope, victory. I just hope it's not a costly one. Let's break through the barricade and clear the road for the refugees. It looks pretty solid. Any ideas? A frontal charge! Genius. We'll be like polar tigers, fast and merciless. Isn't that a mating call? Damn it! I almost thought she'd be getting up again! The second arrow penetrated her heart. She didn't have a chance. And they said White Rayla had no heart. Let's go. It'll be safer further on. We're finally out of that hell. Your friends should be safe. Watch out! Monsters! Draw them away from the refugees. Don't need to hear that twice!
Witcher, are you all right? You arrived just in time. I am Jacques de Aldersburg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I have heard much about you and know of your deeds from a very trustworthy source. Explain, please. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia asking me for explanations. He who so generously lavishes his wisdom upon others. Forgive me for not laughing. I just didn't get the joke. I don't intend to explain. Unlike you, I am one to act. I want to laugh when I recall your pseudo-philosophical reflections. Witcher, only time can teach us. Only with perspective can one understand what is right. Who is human? Who a monster? What is evil? And how to overcome it? I'm in no mood to guess. So why don't you just tell me what made you so bitter? Otherwise we should part. Forgive me, I can get irritable. No, they sometimes tell me of your deeds. And though I don't approve of them all, I'm always genuinely interested to hear them. And how did I earn the interest of the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose? I like to know what goes on in Temeria. It helps me appear in the right place at the right time. Mm hmm Incidentally, thanks for your help. Though you're not human, every knight's duty is to aid those in need. An element of our vocation. Beautiful words, yet hollow when the cries of the murdered are in the air. I understand. They don't apply to elves and dwarves. You're mistaken. The Order's oath is clear and bright. Every knight swears to enforce the law. You cannot deny the non-human uprising is directed against the state. The Order was formed to uphold the law, maintain peace, and ensure our survival from the approaching White Frost. Vizima was erected on elven foundations. We both know that is immaterial. I regret what's happening, but the non-humans took up arms. There is but one way to save the world from annihilation. Your way, you mean. Do you know anything about the Order? The Order is an idea. From its foundations to its pinnacle. Our mission. Our vision. Our objective is a new world. A new order that will come after the White Frost. A world in which all will get what they merit, not by birth or through connections. A world where the strong help the weak, and crime is duly punished. A world of clear principles and ideals. You must know anyone can join, be they peasant, merchant, even witcher. Knights collect no payment, and are promoted for great deeds. And you'll decide who will be awarded the honor of living in an ideal world? That's demagogy. Words that conceal a lust for absolute power. After all, you will have to bring those who stray back onto the path. No, Jacques. I'll pass on a paradise like that. I hope when the time comes, you'll understand. Don't let me keep you, but I don't like to owe favors. You've paid your debt. I don't understand. You owe me nothing. Our rest is over. Fall in! Farewell. Sir, have you seen my son? He has straw-colored hair, freckles on his nose, a child, twelve winters to him. Sorry, I haven't. I've been burning fires here to lead him through the mists. Oh, my dear son. I hope you find him. I seek the Striga that has its lair somewhere around here. Sir, you see that old church on the hill? The Striga lives in the crypt. She awakes at night and roams about in search of blood. She leaves you alone? Once she came for me. I didn't run, for I light this fire to guide my son through the night. The monster hesitated and ran on. Since then she's avoided me. Interesting. But I saw her catch a man once. Horrifying. Tell me. I've set my neighbors home ablaze and cut them to bits. I've decided to flee the city. They tried to draft me into the army. Luckily King Foltest has returned. He'll put those non-humans back on their leashes. 
Rightly so. Know what I'll tell you? Greetings, Geralt. Foltest asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Foltest well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Foltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me. It's over. You're well again. Geralt. Don't worry. You're safe. I'll take you home. Oh, my hands. They're covered in blood. I killed, murdered so many people. Oh. It wasn't your fault. Don't think about that. It's behind you. I remember. Through a fog. It was important. I concealed something in the sarcophagus. You must see it. All right, I will. Hold me, Geralt. I feel so cold. It's this crypt. We should go. You'll feel better outside. And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Velorad. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders? The princess is freed. Ada, Velorad will take you home. Witcher, second time I underestimated you. Third time's a charm. Faltus gave me something for you in the event that you survived. This is the devil, a Zerikanian scimitar. The legends say it was tempered in dragon's blood. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. State your business, Witcher. Let me pass, Duet. You look terrible, like you haven't slept all night. I'm tired, Count. May I pass? My dear Geralt. I spent the night with a Striga, so my patience runs thin. With a Striga? To what end? Did you kill her? She's no longer a problem. I found evidence of a traitor in the princess's entourage. Any idea who? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. I discovered a useful diary. Triss Marigold also knows some helpful spells. You should give me Ostrit's diary. The Grand Master commands magic better than that witch Marigold. I never mentioned whose diary. But... Ah, oh, to hell with it. Witcher. Join me. Align yourself with the masters of a new order. With me, Roderick Duet, the future Viceroy of Tomeria. Who are you working for, Duet? I thought you had it figured out. I'm working with Salamandra, for now. Think you can outsmart them? They're but a means to an end. Join me. You're pathetic. No, 
You are mutant. I gave you an opportunity to taste power. You chose not to, so you will die like a dog! We'll see. Greetings, Geralt. Have you met Rayla? A singular transformation gave her the gift of life. Geralt! A singular transformation. The gift of life. You call that enslaved bag of blood and muscles alive? Better than alive, perfect. You'll learn that soon enough. This was your experiment? You're pathetic. Rilla, darling, you won't permit this mongrel to insult your master. <sighs> Geralt! Rilla always admired you. Shame. You might have made a good couple. This farce is over. As you wish. Behold my Koshche. The perfect killer. How irritating. You just cut up my Koshche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him! Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me. But you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zar Bintala. Berengar? I was afraid I'd be late. Can you use a hand? For a second there I wasn't sure if... I'm surprised to see you. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Berenger made his decision. He knew where Javed was hiding. He also knew I'd find the sorcerer sooner or later. He knew that facing Javed alone was suicide for either of us. Javed, can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Witcher Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Wolf, you're alive. Yaven. I'm glad to see you survived. Find what you wanted? Yes, although not as I had imagined. Wolf. I killed the Salamandra leader. No look of satisfaction? Not yet. As it turns out, Salamandra is not acting alone. The Order of the Flaming Rose stands behind it. I'm not surprised. I must tell the King at once. True. I have a boat at the landing. Join me when you're ready. All right, thanks. <laughs> 